Mitchell ran eight miles today. Sabrina ran seven miles. Which of the following statements is true? And I can choose more than one answer here, so let's think about this. The ratio of Mitchell's distance to Sabrina's distance is two to one. Well, that's not right, because the ratio is eight to seven, and eight to seven is not the same as two to one. The ratio of Mitchell's distance to Sabrina's distance is 16 to 14. Well, that looks right. If I doubled Mitchell's distance and double Sabrina's distance, I would get eight times two is 16, seven times two is 14, so that seems right. The ratio of Mitchell's distance to Sabrina's distance is seven to eight. But it looks like they've swapped it around. The ratio of Mitchell's distance to Sabrina's is eight to seven, so that's not right. The ratio of Mitchell's distance to Sabrina's distance is eight to 15. Well, that's also not right, it's eight to seven. So I'll just go with that one right over there. Let's do one more of these. Jessica makes a cake using four cups of flour and six cups of milk. Fair enough. Which of the following are correct statements? And I can pick more, more than one. The ratio of flour, flour to milk is two to three. See, so four cups of flour for every six cups of milk, that's, so it's four to six. If I were to divide both the numerator and denominator by two, that's the same thing as two to three, so that's right. The ratio of milk to flour is eight to six, is that right? So I have six cups of milk for every four cups of flour. So it's a ratio of six to four. Six to four is not the same thing as eight to six. So I will not do that one right over there. The ratio of flour to milk is 10 to 15. So let's think. We already know that the ratio of flour to milk is two to three. If we were to multiply two times five, and you'll get 10. And three times five, you get 15. So this is right. And then the ratio of flour to milk is one to two. Well, no, that's not right. Two to three is not the same thing as one to two. And I think we are done.